This is classic Tetris Monthly Mega Masters March 2024. The number one seed on the left, the number 64 seed on the right. Let's count down game number one in three, two, one, Tetris. All right, Tyler going to strike first, but with the Tetris, Alex T going to follow suit. All right, we did have a contribution. Thank you so much, random with titan thank you so much for redeeming the uh sponsor quest adding three cents to the price pool all right seventy-five thousand playing 91 It's 138 to 121. Another long bar in and another Tetris for Tyler. 144. Alex T at 138. Another long bar. 161. And Tyler at 169 gets a long bar in. There's a dirty Tetris for Tyler. Go to 193. Add another one. Go to 216. And a long bar down the center with a clean Tetris there. 242 for Tyler, 299 for Alex T. Of course, Alex T, our previous Mega Masters winner. Going to try to repeat. A long bar in another Tetris for Alex T. Go to 322. Tyler looking for a J piece. That is not a J. He's going to try to find an alternate solution here. Actually, he's going to set up for a dirty one. There it is. A dirty Tetris from Tyler trying to stay efficient here. But Tyler running out of room now. This board climbing. Going to set up for another dirty Tetris. He's saying, come on, come on. Where's the bar? Come on. Bar shows. There's the Tetris. Gets bailed. 295 plays 372 at a Tetris for Alex C. Go to 394. Still a clean board here for Ty uh, for uh, Alex T. Go to 440, 324 for Tyler. Tyler, this board is seeing better days, but he's bringing it down, which is all you can ask for. We are about to hit the 100 line turn. And Tyler going to take the triple, which seems to be the right play because there is no long bar. All right, 554 plays 384. Tyler is back to clean. Go to 
Another Lombard coming in and another Tetris for Tyler. He's at 406. A very good game here for Alex T. Has the potential for a mid 600, maybe even more if he plays perfectly. And it looks like he's going to do just that. Could he hit the 700? He's at 622. Tyler at 452. Tyler's starting to catch back up here. And those double bars definitely going to help. 476. He's looking at a 500k. Now long bar in. Tetris for Tetris. He can get one more. And there's a long bar for the Tetris. 668 for Alex T. And another long bar. There's another Tetris. 691. And he goes with the delayed vertical eye tuck. And he's Tetris ready. A Tetris for Tyler, 522, add a Tetris at level 19 at 546. One more burn available. There's the Tetris, 715 for Alex T. A great transition. Now we are into level 19 speeds for both. Tyler having to do a bit of burning. Alex T is still clean. And both players are rollers, so... Expect to see some more high octane action as a Tetris is hit for Alex T. Now going to go to work to get the hole in the board cleaned up. Does so. Gets a long bar. There's a Tetris. Meanwhile, Tyler trying to get the well established here. He's one Mino shy. And of course, the bar showing one piece too early like it always does. The long bar, though. Going to get a Tetris there. 615 plays 823. Another Tetris for Alex T. Go to 849. 200,000 point lead here for last year's winner. Going to try to get it done quickly. However, Tyler is back to clean, and he is looking poised to get points back on the board. But there is no long bar coming. Drought forming. And this drought, pretty massive here. 626 for Tyler. Takes a triple. Gets a long bar. There's the Tetris. 662 plays 865. Alex T waiting for that long bar as well. Dealing with that drought. Long bar finally going to show and knocks it down. 894 playing 662. Another long part, another Tetris. Another Tetris for Alex T. He's pouring this on. He is a Tetris and change away from the max out. There's the Tetris. 984, one more will do. Gets the bar, gets the score. A14, level 24. The kid is all smiles. Meanwhile, Tyler at 760 is locked in, trying to get the right pieces. He is set up, ready, and waiting for this Tetris, but makes a slight over-rotation here. Now, actually, Tyler's bored. Oh, he's going to hang the square. And he's going to top out 760, the final score. And Alex T at A45 is good for game number one. GG. And Alex T likely going to go for um, a Mullen here because I would too if I were him. <laughs> Long bar in another Tetris, man. B45. And Brosman's gifting 50, oh, what, 50 Tier 1 subs to the community. And Biggie Mac, thank you for the Tier 1 sub. I will read all these names when we're into the second game. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That is so generous, Brosmans. Thank you. All right, D90 here for Alex T. E37, level 32. This could be troublesome. Bar going to show. Gets the Tetris. Fills out the left. Another Tetris. F-16 flying away. And look at this. 
Ghost Akibar missed drop, but does get the Tetris. F68 now. And cleans up the board. So masterfully done. Oh, but these pieces now for Alex T. He's going to shake his head. I don't think there's anything else he can do. He's going to try to dig out of this. Oh, a double flip. Oh, no. Double flips. F81, the final score for Alex T. Game number two. Alex on the march. Can Tyler tie things up? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Tetris. All right, so a very good game number one here for Alex T. Tetris not necessarily having a bad game, just kind of got into a situation where he was unable to do anything else. He's going to set up a vertical eye tuck right out of the gate here. And the key is to get the long bar to get it filled. And he's going to do just that. 5,700. There's his first Tetris. Tyler going to look to rebound in this game number two to get on the board. Meanwhile, Alex T, who is playing Das with the controller in his face, is good for a Tetris there. 47 plays 51. And another vertical eye tuck for Tyler. The chat is loving it. All right, so yeah, there were a whole mess of subscriptions that came in. I'd like to read all your names off here. So thank you so much, Brosmans, for gifting 50 Tier 1 subs to... Oh my gosh, how do I say this? Um, O-R-U-C. Then we have Francis, 1408, Y2Ordy, Myers, Jakob, Randius, Chad Gigamon, Profara, El Valle 24, Grizabeth, Oath, and thank you so much again for these gift subs. Fluffy to Tourist, Lilac, Wimsky, PH for Dead, Improbable Spark, or Improbable Spork, excuse me. Tetris for both. 167 plays 145. Now Henry B. Crumson. Karis GD. Eric Tech. Killer Haas. Obelix. Lari. Proto Spartan, one spooky gamer, Light Lord, VTuber playing Tetris, Molyum, Molyum Man, Felix Kawa, Devin, some crispy bacon, Lord Ninja, Petey Moreland, Chillin' Buddy, Nerd the Box, Johnny Link, Praise the Sun. Oh, Alex T in a bit of danger. Okay, couple good pieces coming in, but this board is pretty messy. Let's see what he can do here really quick. He's at 195. It was 198 for Tyler. And Alex T, not getting the pieces he needs. Okay, those bars definitely going to help. Doesn't fill the dependency. Kind of shakes his head. I think he saw that I could have placed the piece to fill that dependency. But he is starting to bring this back down now. That TP is going to be wonderful. He's at 206. It is 204. Neck and neck here through 55 lines. 206. Ooh, a slight misdrop here for Tyler. So both players digging... So maybe this is a uh, call and seed, bought and paid for, right? But Tyler getting out of this. Alex T maybe gonna was maybe thinking about stacking up for a Tetris here. I'm gonna go nice long bar flat there. 217, 259 for Tyler, who has about a two Tetris lead now. He's gonna shake the neck around. Meanwhile, Alex has cleaned up the board. He's back down to the bottom. Both players are clean. I'll go back to reading names. Um your dad, 219, Toad Frog, Lament House, Mr. FAQ, Nutristic Acid, Level 39 Super Kill Screen, Katano Bomb, Ko Wanzito, Mighty Pug, Betty Machete, Alexandria, Victorian, and Gooseys. So thank you so much for those 50 Line 1 gift subs. And the chat all upset that the line spin was skipped. Unfortunately. But it is 288 to 311. And Tyler saying, how did I get that piece where it needed to go? That adjustment was very late, but he still managed to get the piece where it needed to. He is unfortunately down by a couple of Tetrises. 289 playing 336. 100 lines through here for Alex at account of the early burning. Long bar in. There's a Tetris for Tyler. Go to 313. And actually taking a look at the pace count, it is actually pretty close here as two Tetrises can be scored for Tyler. To get that line count back up. Uh, but unfortunately, 
Tyler going to have to do some more burns. Has the well back open. Nice adjustment. 338. Waiting for this bar to show. Had to go S flat. No real good place for it. Gets a skim. Gets a long bar. Gets the Tetris and the finger point. 384 to 405. Alex T with a one Tetris lead now. And we are approaching that level 19 transition. Alex T going to finger point as well. You guys are all living below the line here. Finger pointing. If you live in the corporate world, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But Tyler, having to get into a dig right before transition, we'll see if he decides to stack up on top. No, he's just going to look to enter the level 19 speed clean. He's at 397, has three Tetrises available. Meanwhile, Alex T goofing around and making a misdrop. 455. Long bar engage. There's the Tetris for Alex T. 478 is going to enter in level 19 with a pretty messy board. And the double or a single and then another single will do it. So he's at 480. Tyler at 403. Going to transition with a triple. Go to 409. So we're off to the races. Level 19 speed. It's a close one. 90,000 points only separating these two players. Both hit home a quick Tetris there. So the lead is unchanged, but the score certainly is. 529 playing 434. Tyler going for the delayed S-flat burn. Gets the well back open. Waiting for the long bar for the score. It's Alex T. Slams one down first. 436 to 556. There's the long bar engaged. Tetris for Tyler. Go to 461. Of course, Tyler, a player that I'm looking forward to seeing this weekend over at the Rumble in the Prairie event for the Classic Tetris World Championship in Champaign-Urbana, Illinois. Bang Tetris for both. 6'11", playing 492. Very, very good stacking here from Alex in the early post-transition. Had to do a delayed burn. Nice square to get the well back open. Has a T-spin opportunity. Nails the spin. 644 to 547. Tyler has brought this within 100,000 points here. Both players level 22. Add a Tetris for Tyler. Go to 575. Alex T needing to fill out the center of his board. This is going to give Tetris the opportunity to get ahead. But well is going to be opened up for Alex T very quickly. He gets a Tetris. Uses the next long bar to go in the Aki position at 678. Tyler now getting into a bit of a dig. Nothing too dangerous, but unfortunately going to eat away some of the pace that he cannot afford to give up as he is already back about 100,000 points. And Longbar is going to come in. Bang, Tetris for both. Six forty three to seven forty two. This one hundred thousand point lead being maintained here by Alex. It's another Tetris for Tyler. He had that J dependency and waited a while to fill that dependency. He's set up ready and waiting. Tyler starting to fall a bit more behind here now is a couple of Tetrises back. Another long bar, another Tetris. Seven oh nine to eight oh seven. Another Tetris for Alex T. And Alex T filling out the pieces to the left and the right-hand side, but a double flip of that long bar. But another long bar going to come in, as is a beautiful TP. He's going to get the well back open, 843 to 716. And another long bar engaged for Alex T with another double flip here. These double flips for Alex right now are not helping him. So Alex T going to have to burn away just a few more lines. He's at 882. Tyler at 753. Not getting ideal pieces here. Gets a long bar. Tetris not going to go to work getting those holes cleaned up. And he's going to clean it up very quickly. LJ dependent. L piece does come. 791 plays 955. Tyler creating a lot of holes in the center of the stack. We are about to hit the level 29 kill screen. Well, the thrill screen, both these players do have 29 playability. Uh, Alex C, of course, you know, had a big long run just a little while ago on the level 29 speeds. So Tyler's got a long way to go. Alex C has transitioned, has the max out. Another Tetris coming in. Tyler halfway up the board, trying to get some burns in. Needs a J piece to the left. Going to plug it up with the L piece instead. And in singles and doubles, just trying to stay alive here. As he's burning this down, though. Oh, but that T hang is not pretty. And they're going to hang over on the left-hand side. That's all she wrote. 829, the final score for Tyler. A57 for Alex is good for game number two and is now on match point.
Yes, Cranky Hero. This is a tournament. Um, we took the top 64 players, so um, to make it all compete for that piece of that prize pool. Alright, Alex T is out of this mess here. But not getting the long bar to score at Tetris, unfortunately. So he's just going to take the burns. He's got the well back open now. There's another Tetris. B64. Another Tetris here, but not before making a misdrop. Gets the JPs to fill it in. C08. And Bro is just flexing on Tyler right now. Ooh, but that missing that 5-tap... Oh, and a misdrop gets that 5-tap, though. But this board looking a little worse for wear. And I take it all back. Look at that. Brings it down like a true master of his craft. And he is trying to set up for something in the center. And this might be coming to an end. Can he get the 1.3? He's got four lines to do it. There it is. D on the screen for Alex T into the level 39 double kill screen and still getting lines. This kid can do it. He's going to try to get some more lines. Look at that. He's still digging this down. Come on, Alex T, level 40. Can he get anything to the left? Uh oh, he's going to top out D28, level 40. He is pumped. Let's go. That is the first level 40 in competitive. This is a pivotal game number three. Alex T looking to sweep Tyler. Tyler looking to get on the board. Let's count down game number three in three, two, one, Tetris. And same piece sets has been confirmed. So Alex T, last year's winner on match point, looking to make it and punch his ticket to the next round. And of course, there is a Macharino. I'll probably hit that up one more time here for you folks. So exclamation point Macharino into the chat. If you would like to contribute to the prize pool, both of these players trying to get a piece of that prize. Tyler just trying to get there so that he can have a chance to get a piece of the prize. He'll need a big win to do that, though. If you are watching on YouTube or any of the other socials, we're live on Kick and X and other ones. As the music has come to a close, let's... uh. You could do go to our website, ctm.gg slash Maturino, and you can hit the Maturino up that way. Tyler would love to hit up a Tetris here. Z is waiting for this long bar to arrive. He's at 13,000. Is clean. Stacked to the sky. Bar going to come. Shakes his head as he gets a Tetris, but he gets another one quickly. 59,000 plays 139. Alex T on the march here through the first 30. True, there's a lot of lore in chat about Tyler purposely going down to nothing. All right, long bar engaged. Back-to-back -back bars for back-to-back -back Tetrises for Tyler. And then he immediately sets up a long bar dependency known as the vertical eye tuck. And there is no long bar in sight. Bar finally shows. He's at 110. Another long bar. There's the Tetris. 133 to 186. Add a Tetris for Alex T. Make it a double. 231 playing 133. And now it looks like Tyler is starting to find his groove. This seed, the long bars are flowing. 50 lines through here. Tyler back by only a two Tetrises now. He is a bit ahead in the line count, too, so might be a little bit bigger than it seems. Uh, my prediction was the long bar. Oh, he tried to go for the line spin, and he misses the line spin. Unfortunate, so going to cause some more burns here from Tyler. Tyler. 
But Tyler gets the well uncovered, gets a long bar, another quick Tetris, and going to set up immediately again. 251 to 325. Alex T having to do at least a burn here. We'll have to do a, a, another burn. Wow, gets that double tuck, actually. That was very nice. And it's just going to go to work getting the mess cleaned up now. He is at 350. Tetris for Tyler go to 297. So it's about a two and a half Tetris lead here for Alex T. And we are past the halfway point of 18. Right, nice clean Tetris. Looks like uh, Tyler has stopped memeing. I haven't seen a vertical eye tuck in at least 20 pieces. So, Yeah, there's the long bar. There's the Tetris for Tyler. Go to 366, 420 for Alex T. Nice adjustment there for Tyler to make accommodation for the LPs. I really like that. Another Tetris for Tyler starting to mount this comeback here. Has brought this within 50,000 points. 412 plays 467. Oh, nice overhangs and good tucks here for Tyler. Executing flawlessly. Bang Tetris 435 to 491. And we have passed the 100 line turn. I can hear Vandy now saying, did you just call it the turn? I did. And I called that a Tetris. 514 to 459. And Sonic Link, thank you so much for the prime sub. Four eighty two to five sixty two eighty thousand point lead here for last year's champ, the challenger. Sixty thousand points back. Long bar in another Tetris for Alex T. Still poised to a six hundred K or more. I mean he's already at six hundred K with seven lines to go. Tyler at 510, adding another quick Tetris, go to 533. Going to enter transition with the next Tetris, as will Alex T. Alex T looking for a 650. He is set up for it. Ooh, no real good spot for that square. He's going to burn into transition unless he sets up here. No shot. Okay, he's going to take the triple into transition. 636. Tyler looking for the vertical eye tuck again. Takes a double and a single. 559 plays 661 from that Tetris. There's the long bar engaged for Tyler. Going to go to 559, and we are off to the races on level 19, which could be our final 19 of the set. Oh, this drought coming in hard. No long bar for Tyler, and Tyler, no! Going to top out. 562, the final score. And at 6702 with that Tetris... Game number three and the sweep to Alex T. GG, and feel free to play this one out. You played the other two. But hey, Tyler, thank you so much for playing, man. You did awesome. It is always great to see you, and I'm looking forward to hanging out with you this weekend. So keep your head hung high. And Gilded Lizard asking if Tyler will marry them. How nice. All right, 891, nice spin, gets a Tetris. 922, another long bar, and another Tetris. 953. Giving Tyler the thumbs up, though. The real winner here is me. I'm going to be number one on the spot for lines because Alex got to level 40.2. Agreed. 
And give points. Okay, I can do that. Who won this one? Tyler won. And I'll go ahead and get this reported as well. Alex T, A38, the max out level 27. Set up ready and waiting. A long bar coming in. Bang Tetris now level 28, A76. Going to set up for the center well. And getting droughted. Not what he wants right before the level 29. And there it is. Center well Tetris, column 3, Adam well, B16. Has one more. Going to burn into transition at B18. Add a Tetris immediately. B55. Another Tetris C44. Alex T. Akibar. Let's see. A Tetris. Takes a burn. Look at how high this kid is. Another Tetris. Ooh, but doesn't quite get that piece all the way over. Now double bar dependent. Plugs it in. Doesn't get that bar over. And C86, the final score for Alex T. So congratulations to your winner. Here we go in three, two, one. Tetris. Tris up with that ultra low latency. <laughs> oh. Guys, I'm only 23. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll be an uncle anytime soon. Anyways. Start this game. Both players are actually able to find a Tetris. Same amount of burn lines. But Garrett couldn't be forced to do some burning here. Was not finding the J piece. Creates an isolated dependency and really just a uncomfortable stack to begin with. Things are definitely not an ideal position. That triple is going to help Picaric out a little bit. That hole in column four does need to be accessed. In some way or fashion. This is going to allow Tristop to really get off to a nice start here. Chess saying 23 is the new 45. Okay. But as it stands... Trist up with a 2-3 to three Tetris lead. Peak Eric having to do just a slight amount of burning. But all in all, everything's pretty much under control for both these players here. It's nice to see Trist up making a return to Classic Tetris Competitive. It's been a hot minute. And of course, you know, Mega Masters brings out a lot of people out from the woodworks. I mean, if we just take a look at what the qualifying cutoff was... You had to average a max. Last year, just getting one max was enough to get you in. Be under the uh, no max left behind. Well, I guess you can say that rule in some iteration was allowed. Uh, no max average left behind, that is. However, something that is getting left behind is peak Eric at the moment. Had a bunch of unfavorable situations occur on his stack. And is kind of being forced to burn out of them. Double long bar dependent, one in column two with the other in column 10. And is going to convert the uh, column two and make it a dirty Tetris over there for Peak Eric. So 213 for Peak Eric, 269 for Tristop. Of course, both of these players strong at a variety of play styles. Tristop, well known for being the first player ever to get a DAS 1.3. And Peak Eric with a high DAS 1.2, if I'm not mistaken. Trist up, I believe, one of the few players to have a 1.3 minimum in all play styles. And 
And already Trist up encountering some tricky pieces. Gonna go L flat, open up the well, and actually take a conservative triple. As Peak Eric is dealing with yet again another long bar dependency, this time on column one. And the pieces aren't necessarily cooperating in the way that he needs them to. As a matter of fact, this is starting to get a little bit complicated. We still have plenty of time before the level 19 transition. So, worrying about sustained board health at the moment isn't a big concern. Just getting back into scoring position is, though. And that's exactly what Tristop has been able to maintain so well here in game number one. 418 for Tristop, 275 for Peak Eric. Around a 130,000 point lead in Tristop's favor. As Peak Eric does get the well open, knocks in a Tetris. An unfortunate Z piece over there for Tristop. It's going to force him to go for a row two, but if an I piece does come with enough time, that could give an opportunity for a perfect well transfer. Fortunately, I piece was a little bit late. Probably missed their flight or something. You never know. Airports these days can be a bit tricky to navigate. Remember, neither player is flying too close to the sun with these stacks. Able to be clean and score consecutive Tetrises from them. And Tristop opting to put a bit of weight on that right well. It's going to give Peak Eric a slight opportunity to potentially close the gap as we close on level 19 transition here. Tetris for Tristop. Two more available for him. And oh, there's another Tetris, and that's exactly what he was looking for. Tristop's going to transition at 565. Peak Eric, three Tetrises left possible here on level nine, or 18. Going into level 19, there's one. Looks like he's going to try and get set up for another. There's a Tetris for Tristop, 591. Tetris for Peak Eric, 467. Hoping for an L or a J. Like the way that he played that. Very smart for the tuck. However, it's going to be forced to burn. Transitions at 468. Knocks in a Tetris immediately on level 19 and gets set up for another. As it stands, though, 130,000 point lead still being maintained by Tristop. Although Tristop is slightly ahead in lines. There's another Tetris for Peak Eric. Tristop, beautiful S flat right there. That's going to allow for a conversion of a Tetris. Peak Eric utilizes that long bar to get Tetris ready in the subsequent one to score a Tetris. And it looks like both players are... Found a pretty comfortable stride here on the post-transition. Tristop, level 21, beautifully stacking here. Meanwhile, Peak Eric, one Mino shy being Tetris ready, so had to use that long bar to get Tetris ready. Send up a little bit of an uncomfortable delay burn. But those pieces work out nicely. Both players encountering some issues, actually, on level 21. Tristop on level 22 now. Tetris ready, knocks down one, is still set up for another. And Peak Eric knocks down one as well. Still, Tristop maintaining this 130,000 point real-time lead at 738. As the Tetris goes up to 767, Peak Eric on the other hand, 608, also on level 22. Looking for a J piece, does find it, but had to commit at least two burns over there on the right-hand side. Tristop running into a slowdown, would love an L piece, now looking for an I piece. And Peak Eric can utilize this opportunity to close the gap a bit. However, Picaric's also going to run into a slowdown, so maybe a little bit of a tricky piece sequence that both players had to try and figure their way out of. And just like that, Tristop is back into the lead by the same margin. The misdrop from Picaric, not quite deadly, but definitely one of the costlier misdrops he could have had at this point. And Tristop closing in on almost a 200,000 point lead, and oh, eyepiece dead drops in the middle. Fortunately, there was another eyepiece, so... Didn't have to wait too long before scoring a Tetris. And there it is, 909 for Tristop. Over a 200,000 point lead. He is ahead in lines, but things are spiraling out of control for Peak Eric. This is still survivable. There's still time before 29, but Peak Eric is going to really have to focus here. That left side, able to get the square over to the left and hangs that second square. Peak Eric's going to be done at 693. Tristop at 916 is going to be good for game number one. Here we go in three, two, one, Tetris. And Tristop was just able to maintain that lead throughout basically the entirety of the game. Even though it ended at 25 for Peak Eric. Let's see if Peak Eric is able to bounce back. 
That's the thing about competitive Tetris. Generally, it's not resolved in just one game. You have a best of three or at least a best of five. So Tristop would need to win two more games in order to advance to play Alex T. And no matter what world you're from, having to play Alex T in round two is quite the challenging task. Speaking of challenging tasks, Tristop had trouble finding a optimal way to play those pieces. So it's going to have to take a few burns here. Nothing, you know, supremely conservative, so to speak. But this does give P. Carrick a slight advantage here in the early game. And <laughs> emphasis on the early game. But it looks like P. Carrick's going to trade that lead back. And I ran into another similar small burn situation. So now we're actually almost tied. And ooh, Tristop, not quite happy about that. Tetris is still going to be scored. Would love an L piece. L piece burns this out with only one burn. Gets an L piece instead. So two burns is, I'd say, a fair compromise in most cases. It seems like Tristop... Able to find his stride now. And P. Carrick also with the pretty exaggerated double wide here. So I had to use a long bar to get Tetris ready. And just something not quite happy with that placement. There are a couple ways to solve this. Unfortunately, none of those pieces came quick enough. So this is actually a five line burn, now seven line burn. Or maybe a no maybe just a three line burn after all. Dirty Tetris over there from Tristop. And a single is gonna be taken. I mean, you know what they say. The best way to burn out is with a Tetris. Helps maintain that efficiency and brings your stack down by four. And that main level of maintained efficiency is why Tristop has the lead right now. Bikarik had to do some maintenance on his own. You can definitely see Tristop trying to really visualize the best way to deal with these pieces. P. Carrick trying to stay kind of one-to-one -one with Tristop. Trailing by a Tetris just about from this point. And ooh, Tristop, a little bit of a spicy situation here. The right side is covered, so it is going to have to do some burning that does nothing. Maybe a phantom burn. Probably Tristop was not anticipating it. Eyepiece makes it over to the left. Wow, three eyepieces in a row. The third eyepiece might have been a little bit more trickier to handle than the rest. Tristop trying to go for a couple of last placements. Nice skim. T-piece makes it over to the right-hand side. Tristop on the verge of topping out. Finding ways to navigate through. What a beautiful delay flat burn with that J-piece. T-piece is going to open up the well. Do we get an eyepiece? Not quite. Tristop holding out for it. Opens up the well. Clean stack. Where's the eyepiece for the Tetris, though? There it is. Tristop is rewarded for his efforts. He's going to survive. 308 for Tristop. 326 for Peak Eric, who actually managed to take the lead just because of Peak, or not from Peak Eric, from Tristop doing all that digging. But throughout all that, tremendous down stacking over there from Tristop. There was definitely a couple of risky gambles at play there, but you saw how those pieces allowed Tristop the best chance of success. However, the one that is succeeding over the out of the two of them is P. Carrick with a one Tetris lead and a couple lines in hand, so does have the pace advantage too. Four oh four for Tristop. P. Carrick now long bar dependent on the left hand side, and is going to be forced to take some burns. Now doesn't have two any more burns available, so we'll have to bank in using that long bar. Pull in that dependency. And this is going to allow Tristop to regain the real-time lead. As a matter of fact, in terms of pace, we can almost be even. Ooh, interesting decision over there from P. Carrick, deciding not to use the J-piece to fill in the center. Well, player is going to knock down a Tetris 431 and now 472. Tristop will be transitioning after the next seven line clears. Now, how those line clears are, whether it's a combination of Tetrises, single doubles, triples... We'll let Tristop decide how he wants to approach that. Because he is operating off a of road two. Three burn lines are committed there, so a Tetris is available. 
There's a Tetris for Pete Carrick. He now has three Tetris available. Tristop is going to transition at 505. Still operating off of this row two. There's another Tetris for Pete Carrick. And he's looking to transition higher than Tristop. So definitely a different tale to be said in this game than the last. Tristop not too happy with that adjustment. The board is Tetris ready. Going to go ahead and take the triple. There it is. Tetris for Tristop. 562. Pete Carrick able to find a Tetris. So will transition at least one Tetris higher. And that's exactly what's going to happen. A 524 transition for Pete Carrick. And it's going to knock down a Tetris immediately in Pawn transitioning into level 19. Knock down another one. So 572 for Pete Carrick. Tristop almost two levels ahead. Really a level and a half. Only in the lead by a Tetris. Now two following that one on level 31. Tetris for Pete Carrick in the level 20. Another Tetris for Pete Carrick. Pete Carrick right now already starting to show some ferocity with how efficient these Tetrises are being scored in the post transition. But that S piece is going to slow Pete Carrick down very slightly. Tristop, dangerous misdrop up top. Going to have to go for the O flat. Perfect pieces. Take the double. Bring the stack down. And wow, what a delay burn setup over there from Tristop. He's holding out for the eyepiece. He needs it right now. There it is. Tristop's going to survive a little bit while longer. However, it comes up the well where that eyepiece would have gone. And now Tristop is back in the down stacking mode. Peak Eric, prime position to take advantage. Tristop just having to take these burns as they come. Another set of misdrops over there from Peak Eric. Nice tap over there to the left over there for Tristop. Love an eyepiece. Eyepiece doesn't come, so he's having to make do with the pieces that he's receiving. The left side is being brought down into manageable heights. Beautiful placements over there for Tristop. Would love to get a eyepiece here. Another misdrop from Tristop. Covering up the well. Tristop opens. No, does it? That was a phantom burn. Tristop tops at the 674. Pete Eric ties up the game. Or ties up the set. One to one. Totally thought that that was going to open that up too. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a set on our hands. Well, players, one game apiece. And as Van Dweller likes to put it, what is the best of five? This is now a best of three. Here we go in three, two, one. Tetris. OZS is the opener. And players played it differently, interestingly enough. Tristop had to take the first burn out of the two. It looks like Peak Eric's going to be able to get his first Tetris without any burns. Some We see some pretty insane games in Mega Masters. Oh, nice tightening adjustment over there from Tristop. Holding out for the long bar, though. Long bar definitely taking his time. Two long bars. Neither of them could be used for a Tetris. But the third one does come. There's one long bar, and there's another for Peak Eric. All in all, pretty close. And is that a delayed Vitz over there from Tristop? Yes, it is. And there it is. Vince is executed. Z spin into a Tetris over there for Tristop. 121 to now 104. And, ooh. A couple of tough pieces over there for Pete Eric's going to force a triple out of him. And he might just opt to go for row two here. And that old piece was not what he was looking for. Fortunately, these eye pieces are pretty well timed for the way that Pete Eric has been stacking. Able to fill in these long bar dependencies that get created basically immediately. However, this does allow Tristop to take a slight advantage. And there's the Tetris. Tristop going to be looking for specific pieces to solve this. And I'm quite curious too. There is that O piece. And yeah, just going to... Nice little flat eye placement there. 204 to 213, both players, identical line counts. Oh, Tristop, a little bit of sacrificing there. 
utilize making sure that that eyepiece does get utilized for a tetris and to do a little bit of burning afterwards but you know there's interesting philosophies when it comes to same piece sets whereas as long as you're able to utilize as many long bars as possible even committing those couple of extra burns might not be as detrimental to your score in relation to your opponents especially if both y'all are heading into a drought But as things stand, both players clean stacks. This is a Tetris for Peak Eric. Gonna go up to 239. Tristop at 308. Longbar dependency does get filled for Peak Eric. Of course, Peak Eric is trailing in line, so. Despite it being almost a 100,000 point lead real time, in terms of pace, it's not quite there. I mean, it could get there. All it takes is for a situation to be encountered on Peak Erickson. However, this game has seen more calm for the most part. There was a little bit of a uh, uncomfortable situation for Tristop towards the beginning of the game. Speaking about uncomfortable, that's exactly what is happening in a Peak Eric. Gonna go for the flat J burn. Almost opens up the well. And there it is. Tetris for Peak Eric. Trisop. Is J piece dependent, so unable to be Tetris ready. Sets up with the overhang. Oh. Nice way to kind of deal with that. Tetris for Tristop, 453 at 100 lines, so a 600k transition is on the table. And 343 for Peak Eric at 95 lines. Long bar dependency, oh, oh, Peak Eric actually goes for the Tetris as opposed to filling it. Does get a second long bar relatively quickly, so not going to be feeling the pressure of not immediately filling in a long bar dependency. As opposed to taking the Tetris. And depending on who you ask and depending on the circumstances, there would be a lot of people that would fill in the long bar dependency first. It's an interesting evolving school of thought, whether to fill the long bar dependency or to take the Tetris. Very differing approaches depending on the kind of player that you're talking to. 546 as Tristop has three Tetrises left before the level 19 transition. Cut that down to only one Tetris left after having to burn four lines and then scoring a Tetris. Oh, nice adjustments over there for Tristop. Tristop's going to transition 2,000 point shot at 600k. Unfortunately, didn't really have a good spot for that J piece. So a couple more burns are going to be forced out of Tristop here. Peak Eric's going to transition 535. So once again, going to be trailing at transition. However, this is the lowest deficit that we've seen between both of the players throughout this match. Tetris is going to be scored for both. Peak Eric going to be spending a little bit of time, not too much, dealing with that hole. Now it seems that both players are ready to continue to build up for Tetris. Peak Eric going to be forced to do some burning here at L piece. Oh, a couple of misdrops. Now no longer just an L piece that's needed. Gonna need a different combination of pieces to help him out here. And this is gonna allow Tristop to continue to extend his lead. Already at 120,000 point advantage. And with the holes at the bottom, unless Peak Eric decides to try and go for row two. And not even just any kind of row two. It had to be like a row two center or row three center at this point. Peak Eric's gonna continue to fall further behind. Actually, Peak Eric potentially going for the center well. Yeah, he's developing it. The center wheel is built. Tetris is scored. But a Tetris also scored for Tristop 760, or 7, not 760, what? 797 to now 631. Well, players, clean stacks here. Another Tetris over there for Tristop. And a Tetris for Peak Eric. Ooh, the misdrop over there from Tristop. And not able to quite get that piece in probably the orientation that he wanted. So this is a perfect opportunity for Peak Eric. Tristop would love a certain combination of pieces here. 
Unfortunately, those pieces are not arriving as soon as he would like it. As a matter of fact, this is starting to get complicated. Long bar dependency on the left-hand side. Forced to compromise and take other burns. Would love an eyepiece. Double long bar dependent now for Tristop. Fills in one long bar dependency. Peak Eric now on the cusp of making the comeback. As Tristop once again digging up top. Oh, those pieces are perfect. J-Piece makes it over to the left. Bringing the stack down by a much needed triple. And Tristop's going to take a couple of his burns. Actually an L piece or a J piece here. That's going to be perfect. Tristop is able to breathe a little bit more. Now, Fikirik with a dirty Tetris right there. Only down by two Tetrises at this point. Both players clean stacks. Tristop ahead of the two players. This is another Tetris for Fikirik. This is a close game. Still, you got to give props to Tristop on that survival. Tetris for Peak Eric, 899 to now 935. Tristop trying to get the board prepared for 29. There's a Tetris for Peak Eric, 935 to now 973. There it is. Tristop goes into level 29 at A09. Peak Eric still with two Tetrises remaining. So Peak Eric could actually have the lead going into 29 as Tristop sets up for a Tetris here. Nice skim on the T, nice skim with the L. Going to take a safety double. Still holding out for the long bar. There's a Tetris scored over there for Tristop. AO6 now for Peak Eric. Trailing by a Tetris. Arguably two Tetrises. Make that three following that Tetris over there from Tristop. And he's just going to go ahead and take the burns. Really going to focus on building out that left before getting Tetris ready. As he's Tetris ready, Peak Eric goes into level 29 with A44. However, the board is not ideal, so he's going to have to take some burns here. Things are spiraling out of control for Peak Eric. There's nothing he can do. Peak Eric tops out at A47. Tristop at BO2 is good for game number three. Here we go, game number four in three, two, one, Tetris. Ooh, very differing approaches for how the opener was played. At least I believe so. Could be quickly mismembering. But still, last game, I think, really the highlight of that game was Tristop able to survive that situation. It's not the only time we've seen Tristop get out of some really uncomfortable sequences and just board states in the set. But being able to survive that was what allowed Tristop to end up taking the victory in that game. Because the top out there, Peak Eric, transitioned into level 29 with a higher score. Unfortunately, no 29 play or no notable 29 play was perceived on Peak Eric's end. So now, back against the wall. And oh, Tristop. <laughs> Passed up on the Tetris first. And then you can see the realization hit up hit him after he's like, wait, why did I just pass up on a Tetris? And it happens to the best of us. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of J pieces. Surprisingly, Tristop actually doesn't have to burn anything from that. And oh, yes, the adjustment fits over there from Tristop. Love to see it. But as it stands, Peak Eric, the one with the lead here, and the lead by a Tetris, actually, has only taken one burn line so far. Just a testament to how clean that he's been able to stack this opener here, the first 40 lines. And interestingly enough, decided to hold off on placing anything on the right-hand side. Starting to emphasize the double wide. Help him weather that drought a little bit more. Still going to allow Peak Eric to hold on to a lead here. Uncomfortable T-piece, though. That actually might be just enough for Tristop to kind of contend for the lead. Yeah, there it is. Only separated by a thousand points in favor of Tristop, who has taken one more burn line than Peak Eric at this point. And Peak Eric looking for the right pieces to open this well up. 
ideally an S piece comes, well, not anymore. S piece came too late there, and now Peak Eric's going to be forced to burn. I mean, near flawless start to now being forced to burn here in the mid 60s. This is going to give Tristop the opportunity to build a lead and build a lead he has just in the short span of time. Tristop has almost built a real time lead of 100,000 points. And Peak Eric is still not in a position to score. Just kind of getting stuck in these perpetual burns. None of the pieces that help open up that hole that's in column 9. And personally speaking, column 9 and column 2 are some of the more annoying holes to open up. That being said, Peak Eric is ready to start scoring. There's Tetris for both. 323. Make that 345, adding a Tetris to 464. Basically, a 100,000 point lead for Tristop, and the line count is identical. Garrick is finding a little bit of spells of efficiency here. Able to use some long bars where Tristop is unable to. So still trying to keep Tristop on his toes. You know, Jacob Maddox, I have considered that. But, like, putting together a fantasy Tetris League seems rather complicated. Maybe in the future. But let's talk about what's happening on in the present. Tristop presently leading by 100,000 points. And already 600,000 points from Tristop. Three Tetris is remaining. This means that we're looking at a 670. Nice set of adjustments over there to kind of build up the left side in an ideal fashion. Picaric not with a bad transition either. 5, 11, two Tetris is remaining. And, oh, wait. Tristop finds the dirty Tetris. And a 670 is still possible. It looked like the, with the way that things were getting built up on the right-hand side, that a 670 wasn't going to happen. But there you have it, a 676 to a 558. Tetris for Peak Eric's going to bring him up to a 582. Tristop looking to deliver the final blow here. A 100,000-point lead at level 19. Seven twenty nine now for Tristop. Trying to get Tetris ready. Goes for the Z vert placement. Had to take a couple more burns, waiting on the next eyepiece. Actually, both players are hundred thousand point lead in favor of Tristop as both players knocked down a Tetris. Tristop holding out for an ideal piece to go for the skim, and interestingly, doesn't go long bar column nine. Oh, Tristop, a little bit of. Sacrificing there to get the stack open. There's a long bar dependency over there for Peak Eric. Decide to fill it in. Not using the long bar, but with various pieces. Another Tetris over there for Tristop. 818 to now 725. Both players being able to keep up with each other here in the post transition in terms of Tetris's being scored. But that's bad news for Peak Eric because that means that the lead is not decreasing. If anything, it's in danger of increasing. Peak Eric's being forced to take some burns here. There's another Tetris for Tristop. 904 for Tristop. And I love that tuck that accommodates that T or that overhang that accommodates that T tuck perfectly. Peak Eric having to do a couple more burns here. Tetris is going to be scored for Peak Eric. 818 to now 934. Add a Tetris, bring that up to 964. We're looking at a max in 25, not into in. Peak Eric. Looking to get out of this situation, though. Eyepiece makes it over to the right-hand side. A Tetris is going to be scored. That Z-piece was not ideal. And now, Peak Eric having to deal with this uncomfortable contour of his board. Tristop already with the max. A32. Oh, the adjustment bits! 
What a find over there from Tristop. A64. And there's another Tetris or Tristop. A97. Peak Eric just trying to survive. Not set up for a Tetris. That's going to be a triple. But it is set up for this Tetris. 910 for Peak Eric. B31. This is a 200,000 point lead for Tristop. He wants to close things out. He wants to be the one to play Alex T in the next round. C flat. Wait. We can look. We're, we're looking at a 1.3 going in the 29 over here from Tristop. C69. One more Tetris and we'll have a 1.3. Ooh, Tristop. Holding up the long bar. Pete goes in the 29 with... 967 and there it is 1.3 for Tristop goes for the triple knocks out a Tetris there's a D50 now this is terrifying almost a 400,000 point lead Tristop executing the tuck flawlessly and knocks out a Tetris there it is D95 Pikirik has yet to reach the million points oh my gosh there's another Tetris for Tristop E37 Peak Eric is going to just top out. Peak Eric is done. I got to see what this game turns into. E76 over here for Tristop. There it is. Another Tetris. F23. Oh my gosh. What are we witnessing here? Oh, beautiful flat burn. There's another Tetris. F7. Oh, a couple of tough pieces, though. Tristop does open up the well. There's the rollover. Rollover at level 34. Oh, and the birds. They're sublime. That's perfect. Oh, there's another Tetris for Tristop. There's another one. 1.7. Oh, no. Wait. No freaking way. Ow! Ah, oh, a couple of miss jumps over here from Tristop. Dude, this is fantastic. 1.7, almost 1.8 here. Let's see, what is Tristop looking for? Oh, what? The tuck. Tristop trying to grab at least one more Tetris. Come on, give us the long bar. Give us the one point. Ah! That was ridiculous. Tristop does take game three. And he's going to be going up against Alex T in the next round. Game number one between Alex T and Tristop. Here we go in three, two, one. Tetris. So, I mean, this just, all things considered, this just seems like so unfair that this is a round two matchup. This is a top eight, top four caliber matchup, given how strong that these players are. Just really unfavorable seating. But that being said, we just witnessed what Tristop was able to do in the prior game. A 1.3 going into 29. A one near almost a 1.8. And some pretty crazy stuff was being performed on 29 as well. And this is Tetris. Anything can happen. That being said, looks like we have a Lawless opener. I believe so from Alex T so far. Tristop had to take a couple of burns somewhere. So already a two Tetris lead for Alex T. This is of course the beginning. And the beginning doesn't necessarily tell the rest of the story. Oh, nice adjustment there for Alex T. 
would like to see how initially he was going to be willing to take the triple, but was able to recognize quick enough that an eyepiece was next. You know, previously Alex T was known as one of the more aggressive players, but just because he's aggressive doesn't mean that he's not smart. 40 lines in, Alex T with the 229, two burn lines only. Tristop with the 191, down by a Tetris and a half, basically. Long bar, double long bar dependency built up over here from Tristop. However, that L piece was just what he wanted. It was actually the best case scenario in order to help him resolve that. So, a couple more burns are going to be forced on Tristop's side. However, and that's the funny thing about same piece sets. You could be forced into a burning situation, but unless you're, you and your opponent get a long bar, then that entire burning situation, you might be able to get out of it by the time the next long bar approaches. And that's exactly what happened for Tristop. 60 lines in, 307 for Alex T, 266 for Tristop. Which, all things considered, mathematically speaking, Tristop can still get a 600k transition. Alex T, on the other hand, is looking at 650. Or, on pace for a 650, I should say. And, ooh, a couple of tough O's over there for Tristop. Definitely not the most favorable piece to receive then. Nice delay burn set up over there for Alex T. Oh, wow, that was perfect. Well is open. Tetris is going to be scored. And players are taking a couple more burns here. Piece sequence does seem to be getting a little bit more complex. Not necessarily super drought heavy. But you can definitely see players are having to be very creative with how they play particular pieces. Three forty-eight to now four oh six. Tristop might opt. Yeah, Tristop is going to opt for the row two. Unfortunately, a couple of eye pieces were unutilized for Tetris's. Has it be placed somewhere on the left side of the board? But there is a perfect well transfer opportunity. Transfers down to the row one, column nine. And Tristop's just going to take the single. Oh, how does Alex T solve that? It's going to be two holes generated on Alex T's part. And that could be enough to allow Tristop to close the gap if the pieces allow it. And interestingly, no double rotation of the J piece over there for Tristop. Stack is getting uncomfortable. We've seen them. We've seen him in this previous situation plenty of times before in the previous set. We still have some time before the level 19 transition, as both players are going to run into it. This slowdown. Perfect J piece over there for Tristop. Alex T would love an L piece here. There's the L piece, now an I piece to follow, and there's a dirty Tetris for Alex T. 514 to now 435. Alex T going to open up the well and Sinov, or not Sinov, what? Tristop transitions at 482. Wow, okay. There's a Tetris. Nice double tuck over there for Tristop. Alex T transitions at 566. The lack of sleep is getting to me, chat. <laughs> but what's not getting to these players is the pressure that they're putting on each other. As a matter of fact, real time, we are separated by less than a Tetris. However, Tristop... Forced to do some burning here. And Alex T, with a clean board, is going to be able to rebuild up that lead that was built up on level 18. Now, Tristop did such an excellent job of neutralizing. And speaking about neutralizing, Tristop neutralized all the ailments of his stack. And just like that, both players are ready to score here on level 21. Oh, we made it to the Toast song. And there it is, Tetris over here for Tristop. Another Tetris for Tristop. 659, Alex T at 704. 
Another touch is going to be scored. 734 now for Alex T. Forced to do a couple of birds here. Low side having to be dealt with over there for Alex T. Surreal placements over here. Oh, nice little Simo Tetris. 749 for Tristop. 797 for Alex T. Tristop is putting the pressure on Alex T here. Z spin beautifully executed over there for Alex. Tristop is actually taking the real time lead. Beautiful burn over there for Alex T, though. Tristop, eyepiece makes it over to the right hand side. Double J piece to pin it. Fills in one J piece to pin it with the long bar and fills in the other. And look at this stack. Basically clean over here for Tristop. Left side definitely would like to be addressed a little bit more. But 906 to 901. Incredibly close. The line discrepancy isn't that major either. Something can be said though. Alex T does have the pace advantage. Tristop having to use that eyepiece. Go over to the left hand side. Fill in that long bar dependency. And that's just an opportunity for Alex T to continue to increase this lead. We're closing in on level 29 transition. There's the Tetris for Alex T. 967, one away from the max. There it is. There's a million points. There's a max out. AO2 for Alex T. There's a Tetris for Tristop. One more will give him the max as well. And doesn't look like getting three on 28 is going to be possible. Just did not get the pieces for it. As a matter of fact, the pieces are not ideal whatsoever. Oh, double long bar and couldn't use either of them. Tristop transitions to level 29 with a triple with the max and then gets the Tetris to go up to 839. There's the Tetris for Alex T. One more remains before the level 29 transition for him. He's at BO9. Doesn't get the Tetris, but instead burns all the way down. Tristop now in the process of trying to downstack. The well is covered. Has to reopen up the well. Alex T also with a center well covered. Both players trying to downstack here. Tristop, can he get a piece over to the left? Looking for a J or an I. Has to hit the five tap. Going for some flat placements. Not really getting the most ideal pieces. Look at these flat birds. And Tristop hangs the piece on the left. Tristop comes out to A57. Alex T at B77. With a center well built up. It's going to be good for game number one. What the heck? And there goes the pop-off. Let's go and get them counted down. Here we go in three, two, one. Tetris. Yo, Tony Dan, thank you for the Twitch sub. Much appreciated. What a game one that was. And definitely got very contested throughout certain parts. However, game two is now underway. Ooh. Neither player going to be able to maintain a perfect opener. And really, Tristop already with some early complications, does have a well built up at the bottom of all this traffic, I guess you could say. Traffic congestion. T-piece would be ideal. There's that T-piece. And one more line, Tristop. Well, I guess two. But Tristop now available for a Tetris. Once again, Tristop actually running into a difficult piece sequence. Both players actually, I wouldn't say that this sequence has been particularly friendly. So, a bit of a challenging situation. Tristop looked like he narrowly got that long bar over. Of course, you know, with the speed of rolling, that, that particular sentence doesn't hold too much weight. But you never know. You can, you know, miss a couple of inputs in the middle. And could end up being a near-death situation. But it seems that both players have found themselves a nice solid footing. A solid foundation to continue building for Tetris's. And ooh, 
Interesting. LXT decided not to adjust the O there to uh, burn out. And LXT is just going to operate off a of row two. Slightly more aggressive than the typical row one for obvious reasons. But with rolling, still going to have just the right amount of range of movement in order to get pieces in desired locations. That being said, Alex T leads by two Tetrises. Tristop, following that burn, is going to knock down a Tetris. Goes up to 235. Alex T at 254. Definitely been one of the more turbulent 18s that we've seen today. Players have not really had a chance to really just go through, like, I want to say, like a solid 20 ish lines of sustained scoring. There's always, you know, some kind of issue that has arisen. It looks like this is finally the first moment in this game that we are able to see that the pieces are falling ideally for both of these players in their respective stacks. And they're making accurate decisions in order to deal with them, too. And that's going to allow kind of this deficit to really be maintained. Alex T with a two Tetris lead. 345 now for Alex. 308 for Tristop. It does appear that we are running into a slight drought. Tetris is going to be scored over there for Tristop. Nice conservative double over there for Alex. And Alex really taking just the conservative burns here. The drought definitely pressing Alex, but he's able to find one Tetris, and he's going to be set up for a couple of extras too. So real time, we are just about neck and neck. Long bar defensive over there for Tristop in column two. Does get the long bar. Alex T still going to be holding on to a one Tetris lead, potentially two. And, oh, I like that. Definitely you're seeing some more conservative burns being played by Alex T. But when you're getting weird pieces, that's kind of what you're forced to do. 438 now for Tristop. 425, scratch that, 448 for Alex T. We are closing in on the level 19 transition. Four Tetris is available for Tristop. Five Tetrises available for Alex T. Just going to knock one down. Going to convert that into four. Tristop has two more left. So some 500k transitions are in fact on the table. Three Tetrises now available for Alex T. Had to play perfect in order to get all five from the moment when I said five Tetrises left for Alex T. And ooh, a little bit of tricky maneuvering might be required over here for Tristop. Definitely not the pieces that he was looking for. Oh, this is rather complicated. Tristop transitions at 493. Alex T, like the flat burn. One Tetris to go before the level 19 transition. Tristop's going to open up that right side well. Alex T transitions with a Tetris, but with 544. Tristop at 523. And this is not a Tetris. At best, that's a triple. So Tristop's not in scoring position at the moment. We're going to be able to get into scoring position following that eye placement in column 9. It opens up the right side well. There's another Tetris for Alex T. Starting to put some pressure on Tristop. Even more so since Alex T does have the real-time lead. There's another Tetris for Alex. And Tetris for Tristop. Tetris for both players, actually. 657 and now 587. Another Tetris for Tristop. Goes up to 615. So Alex T can't necessarily rest. Tristop is being incredibly efficient. Oh my gosh, look at those O's over there on the left-hand side. There's the Tetris for Alex T. 688 to 671. A full level is what separates them. Meaning that that could possibly convert into 100,000 point pace advantage over there for Alex T. Depending on where this full level lead still maintains itself. 745 to now 700. Scratch that 730. Following a Tetris in the level 24 for Tristop. Tristop knocks down another Tetris into the lead. But Alex T takes it right back. Just a bit of back and forth. There's another Tetris for Tristop. Alex T goes for the conservative double. Left side will be filled eventually. And is going to start attacking that left now. 807 now 822. 
Alex T going to add a Tetris. Goes up to 837. Still has the pace lead. And now the real-time lead. But Tristoff's going to take that real-time lead from a Tetris. But Alex T takes it right back. 867 and now 854. Tristoff answers back with a Tetris of his own. And Alex T was one Mino shy of scoring a Tetris at that point. But was able to score it there. 899 to now 886. Nice burn over there for Tristop. That accommodates that SP's wonderfully. And there's a Tetris going to be scored. 919 and now 904. And we are closing in on the level 9, 29 transition. We didn't get to see a lot of that action in the prior game. It looks like Alex T is still going to hold the advantage as long as things manage to go his way here over these last three levels. Tetris for Alex T, 971 to 961. 10,000 points is all that separates them a little bit over a triple at that moment. 805 to now 996. Make that 831 following that Tetris from Tristop. And Alex T is going to go for it. Yeah, Alex T is going for it. There's a Tetris for Tristop. One more available before 29 for him. There's a Tetris for Alex. Beautiful placement over there. Tristop goes into 29 with A67. Alex T with already A78. So you can see he does have the pace advantage. He was able to play a bit more efficient than Tristop here in the pre-29. But the games don't end when we hit 29. As a matter of fact, they just get started. There's an A90 transition for 29 for Alex T. Tristop already at B24, set up for the column three. Putting up with the long bar, knocks it down. There's a B62, but Alex T at B08, only down by two Tetrises, and also has a little bit of room to play with. Alex T, no, not going to go for the center wall. Actually going to take the burns. Both players sizing each other up as Tristop trying to get Tetris ready. Opens up the well, knocks down a Tetris. There's C12 for Tristop. Alex T now set up for a Tetris, answers back with one of his own, goes up to B59. Left side does get dealt with. Tristop now with not necessarily the cleanest of boards. Alex T trying to get Tetris ready. Nice jobs. Opens up the well. Putting up the long bar. Not going to go for the safety double just yet. Takes it. Knocks down a Tetris. CO5 to now C23. Tristop still in the process of downstacking the left side. TP's finds his way over there to the left. IP's for the triple. Alex T is set up for the Tetris though. Ready to take the lead. Putting up the long bar. Nice patient burns. There's the Tetris for Alex T. C52 to now C44. Alex T takes the lead and he's set up for another Tetris. Tristop on the other hand still trying to burn the weight. His stack down. Alex T. Forced to do some burns. The well is now covered. Looking for a J piece or an I piece. I piece reopens up the well. There's a triple. Now both players are clean. Alex T with a little bit of a misdrop. Goes for a burn. Holding up with a long bar. We'll like it soon. Needs that long bar. There's a Tetris. Trista off a concerning hang. Gets no. Doesn't get the long bar over. Can't do anything. Can't even go for the flat J burn. And Trista off tops at a C61. Alex T with D28 is good for game number two. A hard-fought game from Tristop. But not able to get that eyepiece over to the right-hand side. To potentially keep it going for a little bit longer. Ended up being his downfall. Alex T is now on match point. He's trying to go for the roller. It's not going to happen with this board. F28, though. 1.5. Here we go. In three, two, one. Tetris. Dude, I swear. Tristop's latency has to be, like, stupid low. It's ridiculous. Anyways. What a game that was. Whoa, the adjustment for the T-spin over there for Alex T. Oh. Looks like we got ourselves a, a pretty tricky opener. Oh. Tricky opener for sure. Tristop's in danger. He needs an eyepiece. Okay. That's going to bring the stack down. Tristop was just making sure, making sure everyone was awake. You know, 18 can be slow. It's more about the meticulousness of your stacking, how efficient you can be. But certain situations can happen. So, trust up, just making sure you guys are paying attention. Giving a little bit of drama for us here. And 
Ooh, Alex T takes off takes off the hat and he's doing Alex T things. <laughs> uh, that's the only way I can explain what's going on. Either way, though, well, players, despite having a trickier opening sequence, have reestablished the foundations of the stack, and I I can argue that they're comfortable where they're currently at. So far, it's been a outside of the one instance on Tristop's side. It's been a very calm 18. Well, players. Oh, what a delay burn over there from Alex T. You love to see it. A nice tightening of rotation on the T there. 239 for Alex, 226 for Tristop. Tetris is going to be scored. Now, Alex T going to be looking for certain pieces over there to the left. Well, not just going to be straight up looking for a T piece. Goes for the S spin instead. Tristop also encountering some issues. Oh, those pieces are going to work out perfectly for Tristop. Does need one I piece. Not able to find it. Well is open for Tristop, so he is Tetris ready. Alex T is not. That hole is so tediously placed on row four that this is a triple at best. And that's exactly what gets scored. So it looks like we could be operating off a of row two here for Alex T. Nice. Alex T avoiding creating the long bar dependency in the center. And Tetris is going to be scored. All in all, a one Tetris lead for Alex T from this point forward. Three thirty for Alex T. Three oh nine for Tristop. Tristop will love a J piece here. J piece is going to burn that out perfectly. And actually, both players looking for a J piece. Alex T finds his. Well is open. Now looking for an L or a J. Specifically now. Yeah, never mind. Just an L or a J. Well is open. There's the Tetris for Alex T. Still holding on to this one Tetris lead. And oh, that's going to get access to that hole on column four. Yeah. To say that this 18 game has been a little bit on the weirder side of things. Oh, Tristop gets the long bar over there to the right-hand side. That's definitely a situation that has you holding your breath. But it's clean. Almost like nothing never happened. Nothing never happened or nothing ever happened? One of those sounds more correct than the other. I'll figure it out later. 420 over there for Tristop. 440 for Alex T. He was able to find two quick Tetrises as we're about to head into the level 19 transition. This could be it for Tristop. He has to win this game in order to extend the set and already not off to the most pleasant of starts here. Does get the well open and a Tetris will be scored. 457 going into level 20. Alex T with two Tetrises possible. Another set of misdrops over there from Tristop. And wait, those misdrops are actually really concerning. Alex T on the verge of transitioning, but it might not matter. Hold on. I take that back. It is going to matter. Because Tristop's going to survive. A 469 transition over there for Alex T. Wants to take some conservative burns. The well gets reopened over there for Tristop. And a Tetris is scored. Once again, if there's something to be said about Tristop's play in this particular matchup, is that his survival is absolutely outstanding. And just this game alone, he's gotten out of three very uncomfortable situations. However, you got to pay for those shovels. And Tristop is going to be down in pace and is currently down real time. 519 now for Tristop, 526 for Alex T as both players knock down a Tetris, so the deficit does not get changed. Tristop is Tetris ready, and so is Alex T. Alex T is going to go and set up for the delay burn, and goes for the aggressive single. Takes the triple, trying to keep this well open. 
There it is. Tetris for Alex T. Tristop doing some smart skims as well. Alex T holding out for... Oh, an eyepiece now. Split triple. Tristop has taken the real-time lead. But Alex T behind the lines has the pace advantage. And the advantage of board state as Tristop having to do some burning here. Long bar dependent in the center. And goes for the Tetris first. Understandably so. Bring the stack down into a more comfortable state. There's that long bar to fill in the center dependency, but another one was created over there in column two. Gets that dependency filled. Love a J piece as Alex T knocks in a Tetris going back into the lead. Tristop reopens up the well. Goes for the aggressive adjustment, not trying to take any more birds. Forced to take that double though. Waiting for the long bar. Forced to take another triple. Nice adjustment over there on the left-hand side. Tetris for Alex T, 691 and now 693. Tristop on level 26. Alex T on level 24. Another Tetris for Alex T, 752. Really putting the pressure on Trist up here. Seven eighty three now for Alex T. Trailing once again real time, but remember, Alex T is behind by a level and a half. That's well over a hundred thousand points of an advantage that can be gained. Nine fourteen to now eight thirty five. Trist up only two Tetris is possible before level twenty nine. And whoa, the aggressive placement over there for Trist up had to take the double. So no, no more two more Tetrises, just one Tetris available, and a drought potentially. No, there's a long bar. Eight seventy eight is what Trist up goes into twenty nine two. This is his chance. This is his time to make his final stand. Alex T at nine eighty five, one Tetris away from the max out here. There's a Tetris for Tristop, 954. There's a max out for Alex T, A19. One Tetris remains. Setting up a couple of delayed burns. Smartly dealt with. Tristop looking for this long bar. Yes, the long bar, but now look at all these holes in the stack. He's going to have to do a lot of burning to get back into a scoring position. Alex T knocks another Tetris. There's A97. Tristop with a dirty triple to keep hope alive. But that left side. What is Tristop able to do? He needs perfect pieces. He's going to try and burn it out. Knights goes for the flat long bar burn. Can he get a piece over to the left? Hits the five tap. Excellently done. Nice set of splat burns. But the left side is still a concern. Able to get the O piece over the left. Able to get another O piece to the left. Needs an I piece to the right. But it's not going to be to any of Bill. Alex T at B46 sweeps Tristop and advances to your top 16. What a match. And a hard-fought one by Tristop. And as I said before this match started, having to go up against Alex T in your round two matchup, that's that's something that is definitely tough to have to go up against. But all in all, your bracket winner for the orange bracket is Alex T. Truly phenomenal play from all players today. <laughs> and Alex T, for your top 16, will end up... Oh, what, what, what is he doing? Is, is the celebration about to happen? <laughs> of course, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be an Alex T victory without a celebration of some kind. Oh, there's the flex too. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is your old pal Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you, and have a nice day.